In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a data-connected Visio diagram that's connected to the data in a SharePoint list, and then publishing that to SharePoint Server to be rendered with Visio services. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Internet Explorer, and this will take me to my Litware homepage. And you can see under Lists, I have a list called Engineering Org Floor Plan. Now if I click here, you'll see it's basically a list of office numbers and their occupants. And what I'd really like to do is to display this in an actual floor plan so that I can see where people's offices are. So I'm going to go to Start, open Visio, and I actually do have a floor plan of my building, so I'm going to click Open, and here's the actual floor plan itself. So I'm going to open it up. And you can see this is my selection of offices for this engineering group. Now to connect this to the data in my SharePoint list, on the Data tab, Link Data to Shapes, and then I want to choose Microsoft SharePoint Foundation List. Click Next, choose the site where my list is located, and this is the correct site for me. Next again. And you can see here's the engineering org floor plan list that we were looking at just a minute ago. Click Next and click Finish. Here's the data from the list. And all I need to do is start dragging and dropping to associate data in the list with my offices. So 201, 202, 203, 204, 205. 206, 207, 208, 209, 210. So now I have a floor plan that shows the actual names of the occupants in each office. Now I can publish this to my SharePoint document library and have it rendered through Visio services, and then anybody who wants to know where somebody's office is can just click on that and see a copy of the floor plan. So, File, Save and Send, Save to SharePoint, and it already knows where my Shared Documents folder is, so I'll leave that. I want to save it as a data refreshable web drawing, and I'll keep the name Litware Engineering Floor Plan. Click Save, and it's going to go ahead and load it up in a browser and render it with Visio services. And I'll enable Data Refresh, and it's going out to the SharePoint list to get the latest information. So here's my floor plan. Now, of course, in any organization, people occasionally leave the group and new people come in, or offices are otherwise shuffled around. So let's say, for example, that Allison Brown works with Anders Reese quite a bit, and it would be easier if they were right across the hall from each other. So Jill Frank and Allison Brown are going to swap offices. Now all I need to do is go back to my list, and in Office 204, which is now Jill Frank, we want to put Allison Brown. And in 210, we want to put Jill Frank. Now we've updated the SharePoint list. If I go back to my Data Connected Drawing and I click Refresh, you'll see that Allison Brown is now across the hall from Andrews Reese, and Jill Frank is down here in 210. So that's a quick look at creating a data-connected Visio web drawing that's connected to a SharePoint list and publishing it and rendering it through Visio services. You can leave feedback on this video or any of our TechNet content by going to the TechNet article and clicking the rating and feedback control at the top of the page. Or you can send feedback to docbi at microsoft.com.